The colony of British Columbia was created in 1858 in response to a gold rush swarming up the Fraser River. It was obvious that this new and far-off colony could only survive with a strong leader. For its first governor, Britain appointed a man who had already proven his worth as governor of Vancouver Island. His name was James Douglas. Then in his 50s, James Douglas had come a long way from humble origins in Guyana, South America. His father was a Scottish sugar planter and his mother a free colored woman from Barbados. Young James received his first formal training in Scotland at age nine. Six years later, he apprenticed to the fur trade in North America, where he rose quickly up through the ranks. In 1849, Douglas became chief factor at Fort Victoria with responsibility for all the Hudson's Bay Company's operations west of the Rocky Mountains. After the colony of Vancouver Island was created, Douglas became its second governor. In 1858, when the Fraser River Gold Rush began, Douglas wisely extended his authority to the still uncolonized mainland to preserve law and order. The British government appreciated Douglas's prompt action, and when it created the new mainland colony of British Columbia, Douglas was appointed governor. A steady drizzle fell on the new capital of Fort Langley in November 1858, as Douglas arrived on the steamship Beaver to be sworn in. James Douglas remained governor of British Columbia and Vancouver Island until his retirement in 1864. He was knighted by Queen Victoria for his loyal service and revered by the citizens who prospered under his rule. Thanks to James Douglas, British Columbia had a strong beginning.